Do you also like dark mode as much as I do? And does your workflow also involve using Google Docs, Sheets, Docs, Sheets and Slides? I mean, why can't I just call it G Suite? Because G Suite includes Gmail, Hangouts, Meet, Calendar, Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides and Forms. Anyway, if your workflow involves using those three apps, good news because Google has recently rolled out dark mode for them. Hello there, I'm Aman Rashid, you're watching Gadgets 360 and this is Office Space, a dedicated series to making your life with Office apps much easier. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable dark mode on these three Google apps anywhere you can imagine. But wait, have you subscribed to us yet? If not, then please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you know when we post a brand new video. With that being said, let's get started. So, dark mode. Since this is a recent rollout for Android, there's a chance you might not see it right away on your phone or tablet. But rest assured, you will get the feature soon. As for me, I tried out this feature on my Google Pixel 2 XL running Android 11 Beta and it worked out absolutely fine. Here's how you can try it out. Open any of the three Google apps on your device. Now tap the hamburger icon, then go to settings and tap choose theme. After that, select dark to enable dark mode for the app. The process to enable dark mode on all these apps is the same. If you want to see how a file looks in light theme, then you can do that too. And the best part is that you don't even need to disable dark mode for this. Open any of the Google apps on your device. Now open a file, then tap the vertical three dots icon and select view in light theme. You can now view the document in light theme while the app runs the dark theme. So, as I told you at the beginning of this video, that this feature is only available for Android users officially. iOS and web users, <laughs> you guys are missing out. Or are you? Basically, I found a workaround for iOS and the web, so let's do it one by one. You see, by tweaking a few settings on your iOS device, you can enable dark mode on the three apps. Here's how to do it. First up, make sure you have all the three apps installed on your device. You can visit the App Store and download the apps right away if you haven't already. Now you'll need to enable Smart Invert on your iOS device. To do that, go to Settings, then tap Accessibility, then tap Display and Text Size, and then Enable Smart Invert. Now open these Google apps to enjoy dark mode. After you're done using Smart Invert, you can always go back and disable it. I'm going to show you a shortcut to get this done in a flash. Go to Settings, select Control Center, scroll down and add Accessibility Shortcuts. Now go back, tap Accessibility, scroll down to the bottom and tap Accessibility Shortcut. Over here, check Smart Invert. This way, instead of going through the settings menu, just go to the control center and enable Smart Invert within a few taps on Accessibility Shortcuts. There's a web extension called Dark Reader available for Google Chrome, Firefox, Edge and Safari browsers. Basically, it enables dark mode for all websites including the ones I've been talking about throughout this video. To enable, follow these steps. On your computer, visit darkreader.org. Click the icon of your preferred browser and download the extension. After the extension is downloaded, dark mode will automatically be activated for free on all websites. Dark Reader is free on all browsers except Safari where it costs 399 rupees. 
If you don't want to pay for a Safari extension, you can try Night Eye for Safari from the Mac App Store, which is free for three months. Once the extension is downloaded, follow the prompts to set it up. Now, all the websites that you visit on Safari will show up in dark mode. After the free trial expires, Night Eye costs 699 rupees per month or a one-time amount of 3,099 rupees. And those were the ways that let you enable dark mode on Google Docs, Sheets and Slides on Android, iOS and the web. Don't make me say that again. Or do you have a way I can collectively refer to these? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you got to learn something new, then please hit the like button and share this video with others. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com. See you next Tuesday.